My name is Aaron Blomberg and this is Hostel Hunters. Today we come to you from beautiful Charleston, South Carolina at Not So Hostel. My friends Carrie and Dan are about to go inside and talk with the manager, Victoria. We're going to find out what sort of adventures we get into this week. Here's a story about me, my friends, and the call of adventure. Looking to grab life for all it's worth, we decided to step out and begin exploring the world beyond our sofas. We call ourselves Hostel Hunters because that's where we stay. From its cobblestone streets to the top of its highest church steeples, Charleston, South Carolina is a city loaded with history and culture. First built in 1670, under our colonel named Charlestown, this beautiful waterfront city became a popular port for commerce and a melting pot for the cultures of the early American South. Eager to take in everything Charleston had to offer, we set up our headquarters at Not So Hostel. The Not So Hostel started in 2002. A girl named Claire Cunningham started it when she was just out of college, and she thought that Charleston needed a place to foster travelers from all over the world. We get most of our travelers from Western Europe and as far as Australia, New Zealand, China. They come from all over. We like to promote um, an atmosphere of community and trust. I mean, hosteling is completely based on trust. You're staying in a room with people that you don't know, and also we create um, different spaces to foster community. We have four community kitchens here so that people can get together and cook dinner so you meet people from all over the world and create friendships and connections that you didn't have before. The Nazo Hostel is a great place to stay because it's located in historic downtown district. You can walk everywhere. We also rent bikes so you can bike everywhere. And also the staff is really great. <laughs> Less than half a mile away from Not So Hostel is the one and only Hominy Grill. Our building has been around since 1880. Uh, we turned it into a restaurant. It was formerly a barber shop, but um, now it's a famous downtown location where people come and get their shrimp and grits and big nasty biscuits. But now this is where I think it's really going to come together. I'm about to try your shrimp and grits. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're uh, known for. Well, I mean, personally, the shrimp and grits, the texture is what kills me. What makes you guys the shrimp and grits what mm. you're known for? We use only local shrimp. Okay, so, so it's actually always, caught out here? Yeah, so they're yeah. all South Carolina shrimp. Big Nasty Biscuit is also <laughs> a big seller. You go through about five, six gallons of sausage gravy just on a weekend. Now, we've got to ask for Dan's sake. Beer. Apparently beer. a pretty good beer scene around here. Yeah. yeah. Coast Brewery in North Charleston is a great place. I drink their beers all the time. I, I love all of Coast's beers. The, the Hop Art is another, the Hop Art IPA is another really good one. So you're a hop head then? Yeah, I, I like all IPAs. The more the more bitter, the We're more better in my out. opinion. Go yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a really cool place. So this is Coast. We're a small brewery uh, located right here in Charleston. Uh, we use organic grains and we focus on just making really good beer. Watching its environmental footprint, just eight miles away from Natsu, we find Coast Brewing Company. Founded in 2007 and run by husband and wife Tim David and Jamie, Coast Brewing makes specially craft beers from the finest local and organic ingredients. I have an idea. I think we know what we need to do next. Eat? No. Slurpee? Oh, sh shopping. This is a great place to go shopping. It's my turn. My turn. All right, well, they do have a lot of handmade stuff here. Let's check it out. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. No trip to Charleston is complete without a visit to the historic city market. In 1788, the land was given to the city under the stipulation that it be used for all time as a free open market where people could sell their goods. This tradition is carried on today with over 100 vendors selling an amazing diversity of jewelry, souvenirs, artwork, fine foods, and one-of-a-kind handmade masterpieces. The Griffin Pub is about three miles away from Not So Hostel, right in front of Charleston's gorgeous waterfront park. This is the uh, Griffin. We've been here uh, forever. We have uh, really good, cheap food, best beer list in downtown, close to Waterfront Park, a lot of tourists, a lot of locals. Can I ask you, what is the deal with all the money on the walls? One of our uh, first patrons uh, came in. His nickname was Money, and he was a funny guy, so he wrote money on a dollar bill, tacked it to the wall, and uh, here we are, 15 years later, $8 square foot wallpaper. If you would like, to hang your own. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah, indeed, Cheers. indeed. Now, where can we get something to take home? Uh, the Charleston Beer Exchange, just up the street from us. We carry about 900 different bottles from 25 different countries, and it's all craft beer. It has to be selected beer. It's not just beer from a country for the sake of being from that country. If it's good beer, we'll take it. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to taking some of this beer home. <laughs> That's a good beer. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Great. Welcome. I love your store. Thanks. Thank you. What are you guys guarding back here? This is our growler. It's a 64 ounce glass jug that we fill with fresh draft beer to go. We have nine rotating taps. 
we change them out a little bit every day. Yeah. Price ranges vary with the beers. We have all different styles, flavors, alcohol percentages. So we can help you pick something you like and take it from there. It's, it's so worth it. We had an excellent time visiting Charleston, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. The road is calling us once again. We have no choice but to answer. But hey, nobody said the seizing the day business would be easy. But we're more than up for the challenge. We're hostile hunters. It's what we do.